hello hi everyone welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time and locations you'll be watching this video yes my dear viewers i am back again with another hope date so guys i have a video here how like we hold to watch but before then, if you're meeting my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please kindly do well to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your thought on the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video. And I will see you towards the end. Um, frankly speaking, I was flabbergasted like many concerned Nigerians. Uh, but going by some of the reasons I douched, by government sources and i'm not sure whether INEC has put some of those uh, positions forward i think one of the ministries has stated or rather a minister that there was a lot of hacking of the server uh, so i'm sure and we'll get to the bridge it will be crossed if such an argument is put forward again it's going to be, it's going to be tested mm. at the tribunal so that's what i can say for now yeah um, i totally understand but, but, your but, your but, reservations yeah. there yeah i i understand that but you are of course a well respected senior advocate of nigeria in a country where a petition or legal challenge has never led to a presidential election result being overturned. Given the weight of evidence that needs to be submitted to satisfy the court, do you believe that the way things are today in this country, a presidential election can ever be overturned? Charles, uh, a lot depends on the evidence produced by the petitioners uh, but i'm not in any way pessimistic i have with regards to our history with regards to election petitions uh, i can tell you that for me it's extremely disturbing and i've made the point repeatedly we cannot continue to involve the judiciary mm in the election of the representatives of our people, we must put an end to it. And we have thought that with enough reforms of the electoral system, that by now, we should be taking the courts out of the electoral system. I, I'm, I'm disturbed as a lawyer mm. that Nigerians are now saying the elections have moved to the courts. That's not very complimentary. Uh, but as I did say, elsewhere, Nigeria has the highest number of pre-election cases in the world and the highest number of election petitions. It should, it should, it should be a matter of concern to all genuine forces of democracy and all stakeholders. Whereas the Yaradua government in 2007 set up the Justice Ways Electoral Reform Panel to look at this problem because mm. the, the winner of the election did say publicly that the election was, that produced me was highly flawed. Mm. And therefore, I'm going to put an end to this ugly development. And so the panel came up with profound recommendations on total independence of the INEC, conclusion of election petitions before the inauguration of a new government, the setting up of an electoral offenses commission to deal with electoral offenses and malfeasance so that attorneys general 
will not terminate those cases by filing applications uh, for, I mean, of non lawyer pro -secret. But what has happened is that successive governments have just ignored those fundamental recommendations. Mm. And that's why we are where we are. So, but I, I, I think the situation where we had about 1,800 pre-election cases, about 600 appeals in the Court of Appeal, about 120 appeals in the Supreme Court. It's, it's, not, it's not okay. It's yeah. not good for It, it sounds quite unhealthy. Of course. Really. And now... Yeah. You've got a big one coming in. Election <laughs> petitions all over the place. Mm. In a way that all major cases including cases that pertain to the liberty of those who are languishing in custody, will have to give way mm. to election petitions because they are time banned. They must be dis you know, uh, decided within six months. Mm. And if you have to go to the Supreme Court in the case of governorship election, additional two months. Mm. So, it's, it's, it's not the best for the country. But I, I guess on the positive side, I mean, if you're a lawyer or a senior advocate of Nigeria, <laughs> you'll be smiling all the way to the bank, won't you? I mean, no, this is, this I, is no, the no, period. No, Charles, I, start, I stopped filing election petitions since 2015. I'm not talking about you in particular. Yeah, no, my, my, my colleagues are yeah. certainly smiling to the bank. But again, at the end of the day, it's mm. not enough to simply uh, smile to the banks. Mm. We are all challenged. Yes. And there, there's all, a more profound yeah. thing to be, to, be, to be focused on there. But, I mean, given the thesis you just put out at the moment, which is a very interesting and comprehensive one, I mean, now that we are where we are, in spite of the UAS, um committee and all the rest of it, do you or don't you see this particular election, presidential election um, petition or petitions becoming a sort of locus classicus, as it's called in, in your legal circles, a first time precedent setting case? No, we have had cases of this nature. Yeah, but it's never quite got. I mean, it, it's never been decided in favor of someone who's making an application yes, against, yes, against yes, the result. Yes, you know. Yeah. Uh, but again, I go back to the uh, 2007 presidential election. Mm. Well, it came close, but it didn't do uh, it, did it? But it was a 4-3, 4-3 mm. justices of the Supreme Court. So it's a split government. It mm. could have been either way. Yeah. So again, as I, as I said earlier, it depends on the evidence produced. Mm. A couple of African countries, presidential elections have been allowed by mm. the court. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, a number of election petitions in the states have succeeded, right. in which sitting governors have been removed. Mm. So there shouldn't be any cause for, you know. So, so from what? your perspective, it's entirely focused on the weight of evidence oh, for sure. that is submitted. For sure. And, and, not, and, and you you feel confident or not confident that justice will be delivered in the courts in that context for, for that there isn't a political no, for me, for element me, to it for me because i go to the court every day right and even though the courts the courts in any capitalist society are not neutral with respect to the political development of well, well certainly of the, the Supreme Court in most countries is not neutral, including the United States. It, yeah, it's yeah. a political, you know, uh, yeah. the, the I Supreme agree, Court. It's a policy court. Yeah. I mean, you know, and so there's nothing extraordinary, there's nothing strange mm. with developments in this country. Again, going by our experience, in two, 2007, 2011, a lot of governorship elections were not. The results were not so yeah. by the courts. The stakes are, of course, a, a bit higher. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. What do you think about this video? Please kindly leave your thought on the comment section, and I will see you again in my next one. Bye for now.